This Teachable Moment is brought to you by the Jewish Healthcare Foundation and the Pittsburgh Regional Health Initiative. With the goal of reducing the incidence of hospital-acquired MRSA, learn how a team from the VA Pittsburgh Healthcare System developed a process that was taken nationally. Historically, at our medical center, MRSA had been the number one cause of hospital-acquired infection. It was the number one cause of bacteremia, the number one cause of surgical site infection, and the number one cause of ventilator-associated pneumonia. MRSA has acquired a mutation that makes it resistant to all penicillin-like drugs. We really did not have uh, a good system for ensuring that the staff uh, complied with the precautions. People will say, well, I'm not going to gown a glove because I'm only going into the room to ask the patient if they're ready for lunch or having pain. But the problem is, once you enter the room, things come up. We really needed a complete change in the way we approached it. One of the most important was the uh, weekly discovery and action dialogues on the units. The first thing under old business are the posters for hand hygiene adherence that are being uh, pr produced and distributed by the NIP committee. These are the posters that Cheryl gave us, the sign for um, hand hygiene so that staff don't have to verbally remind people they ha they'll have another tool to use. We have a new performance monitor that is a national VHA performance monitor and it's going to look at the swabbing rates on admission and discharge and the minimum standard that we've set is 90 percent. One of the things that was very helpful when we started was a collaboration with PRHI. Um, they provided us with expertise. One of the things that uh, the staff came up with was a visual clue. There's a space inside the door that's surrounded by a line. And if you go into the room and you don't cross the line, you don't need to gown and glove. Once you cross the line, you need to gown and glove. When these system improvements are put into place, their workflow actually becomes much better. We've had visits from different people uh, in the VA on a national level. And Secretary Nicholson actually then mandated that the entire VA would follow this process. The staff really understands that their behavior affects outcome. 